Number 16. Now Korah, a son of Izhar, a son of Kohath, the son of Levi, and Dathan, and Abiram, the son of Eliab, and On, the son of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men. And they rose up before Moses with certain of the children of Israel, 250 princes of the assembly, famous in the congregation, men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them. And the Lord is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord? And when Moses heard it, he fell on his face, and he spake unto Korah and all his company, saying, Even tomorrow the Lord will shew who are his, and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him, even him whom he hath chosen will he cause to come near unto him. This do, take you censers, Korah, and all his company, and put fire therein, and put incense in them before the Lord tomorrow. And it shall be that the man whom the Lord doth choose, he shall be holy. Ye take too much upon you, ye sons of Levi. And Moses said unto Korah, Here I pray you, ye sons of Levi, seemeth it but a small thing unto you, that the God of Israel hath separated you from the congregation of Israel, to bring you near to himself? to do the service of the tabernacle of the Lord, and to stand before the congregation to minister unto them. And he hath brought thee near to him, and all thy brethren, the sons of Levi, with thee, and seek ye the priesthood also. For which cause both thou and all thy company are gathered together against the Lord? And what is Aaron that ye murmur against him? And Moses sent to call Dathan and Abiram the sons of Eliab, and which said, Will ye not come up? Is it a small thing that thou hast brought us up out of the land that floweth with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness, except thou make thyself altogether a prince over us? Moreover, thou hast not brought us into a land that floweth of milk with milk and honey, or given us inheritance of fields and vineyards. Wilt thou put out the eyes of these men? We will not come up. And Moses was very wroth, and said unto the Lord, Respect not thou their offering. I have not taken one ass from them, neither have I hurt one of them. And Moses said unto Korah, Be thou and all thy company before the Lord, thou and they and Aaron tomorrow, and take every man his censer, and put incense in them, and bring ye before the Lord every man his censer, two hundred and fifty censers, thou also and Aaron, each of you his censer. And they took every man his censer, and put fire in them, and laid incense thereon, and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation with Moses and Aaron. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, O God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin, and wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And Moses ran up, rose up, and went unto Dathan and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest you be consumed in all their sins. So they got up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram on every side, and Dathan and Abraham came out and stood in the door of their tents, and their wives and their sons and their little children. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord has sent me to do these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, and if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up, with all that appertaineth unto them, and they go down quick into the pit. Then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that appertained unto Korah, and all their goods. They, and all that appertained to them, went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed up upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. And all Israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them. For they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from the Lord, and consumed the two hundred and fifty men that offered incense. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest, that he take up the censers out of the burning, 
and scatter thou the fire yonder, for they are hallowed. The censers of these sinners against their own souls, let them make them broad plates for a covering of the altar, for they offered them before the Lord, therefore they are hallowed, and they shall be a sign unto the children of Israel. And Eleazar the priest took the brazen censers wherewith they were burnt, they that were burnt had offered, and they were made into broad plates for a covering of the altar, to be a memorial unto the children of Israel, that no stranger, which is not a seed of Aaron, come near to offer incense before the Lord, that he be not as Korah and as his company, as the Lord said to him by the hand of Moses. But on the morrow all the congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, saying, Ye have killed the people of the Lord. And it came to pass, when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, that they looked toward the tabernacle of the congregation, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. And Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Get you up from among the congregation, that I may consume them as in a moment. And they fell on their faces. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly into the congregation, and make an atonement for them, for there is wrath gone out from the Lord, the plague is begun. And Aaron took as Moses commanded, and ran into the midst of the congregation, and behold, the plague was begun among the people, and he put it on incense, and made an atonement for the people. And he stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed. Now they, they that died in the plague were 14,700, besides them that died about the matter of Korah. And Aaron returned unto Moses about the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the plague was stayed. As we go through this early part of the Old Testament, I am absolutely amazed at Moses' patience and at Heavenly Father's long-suffering with these people. Think about what they've just gone through. Think about how rebellious they've been. And what happens? Moses turns around, and then Korah, who is a Levite, a man who holds a Levitical priesthood, who has been set apart, consecrated for serving in the tabernacle, not offering the offerings. He isn't the high priest. He isn't one of Aaron's sons. is isn't Aaron, but he's authorized to do this. He and 250 of the leaders of Israel stand up and they tell Moses, Who do you think you are? All this whole people are holy. You know, you make too much of yourself on us. And Moses is just, ugh. All kinds of other things again. So, what he tells them to do is very simple. If you think you're the great high mucky muck and you're all righteous and everything else is wonderful, I'll tell you what. You and your 250 people show up at the tabernacle tomorrow. Everybody bring a censer. We'll take some coals out of the altar. And then you guys can put some incense in there, which incense is symbolic of offering prayers unto God, because the reason for the incense is it's symbolic of offering prayers unto God. You cannot show up and say, God, do this. You have to show up and say, Heavenly Father, we'd really appreciate it if you could help us out here. Prayers. Now, having a Levite lead the rebellion was really bad. I mean, think of how rebellious these people have been. Think of all the things that have happened to the people who have been rebellious. And this guy decides, hey, I haven't seen enough examples of stupidity. I've got to do one of my own. So he does. However, they take the uh, censers. Everybody takes his brazen censer. They get some uh, wood, some coals off of the altar. Everybody puts their stuff in it, their incense in it. And Moses says... The Lord will choose who will be his servant. And Korah is figuring, I got 250 guys on my side. There's Moses and Aaron on the other side. Now, one of the interesting things, we have another scripture, and it says instead of, and do you suppose you want the, something like, are you thinking of taking the priesthood also? That's what it says here. But what it says in the other scripture is the high priesthood. In other words, this Korah, wasn't trying to replace Aaron. He was trying to replace Moses as prophet. God was not going to tolerate that very well. And so what happened was, <clears throat> these guys are waiting before the tabernacle, waiting in the tabernacle, for God to show who he wants. And who does he want? Pow! Fire consumes some of them. The earth opens up and takes the rest. And God showed who he wanted, Moses and Aaron. 